Baboon TV presents eight shocking deaths caught on live television. Number one. In August 2015, a man who was fired from his job as a television reporter took revenge against a small town Virginia news station by executing two of his former co-workers on live television. He then posted disturbing first-person documentation of the carnage on Twitter and Facebook, along with disturbingly matter-of-fact commentary. Number two. The first on-camera death occurred on June 23, 1938, when Mary and Perloff jumped from the 11th floor of the Time and Life building in New York City. Television was still very much in its infancy in the 30s, and there was not much in the way of programming. Engineers from RCA were working on improving TV technology in 1938, and were busy ramping up their efforts for what was hoped to be the medium's big coming out party in the 1939 New York World's Fair. Number three. September 11, 2001 started off like any other day. Morning shows were shutting things down for the day. Assignment desk editors were changing shifts and general assignment reporters were preparing for news meetings. That morning, as we now know, turned out very differently. In New York, the first plane hit World Trade Center's North Tower at 8.46 a.m. The second plane, the South Tower, at 9.03 a.m. 2,753 people died when terrorists intentionally crashed American Airlines Flights 11 and United Airlines Flight 175 into the towers, and most of it played out on live TV. Number 4. At 12.20 p.m. on November 24, 1963, in the basement of the Dallas Police Station, Lee Harvey Oswald, the alleged assassin of President John F. Kennedy, was shot to death by Jack Ruby, a Dallas nightclub owner. Ruby gunned the Triggerman down live on NBC. Oswald was on his way to a more secure county jail. A crowd of police and press with television cameras rolling gathered to witness his departure. As he came into the room, Ruby emerged from the crowd and fatally wounded Oswald with a single shot from a concealed 38 revolver. He was immediately detained and claimed that rage at Kennedy's murder was the motive for his actions. Number 5. Carjacking suspect Yodon F. Romero shot himself in the head on live television after leading police on an hour-long high-speed car chase in 2012 as Fox News viewers looked on in horror. Fox was covering the chase using a live helicopter shot from Phoenix affiliate KSAZ-TV. Anchor Shepard Smith told viewers that the video was supposed to be on a delay so it could be cut off if something went awry. For whatever reason, that didn't happen, and the suicide went out live. Number 6. On January 28, 1986, as millions watched, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds into flight, ending the lives of the seven astronauts on board. In reality, few people actually saw what happened live on television. The flight occurred during the early years of cable news. Although CNN was indeed carrying the launch when the shuttle was destroyed, all major broadcast stations had cut away. At that point, space shuttle launches were hardly news, only to quickly return with taped relays. Number 7. Daniel Jones was a single man who lived alone and worked in maintenance at a Los Angeles hotel. In 1998, he found a lump in his neck and had been reliably informed it was cancer. He was also HIV positive. Jones believed that he was being poorly served by his health insurance carrier. In one of the most graphic and bizarre events ever to unfold on live television, he parked his pickup truck on a busy freeway intersection, set it ablaze, and then shot himself in the protest. And number eight on our list. On April 15, 1984, millions tuned in to watch the hit variety show Live from Her Majesty's, only to see comedian Tommy Cooper suffer a fatal heart attack on stage. As he collapsed to uproarious applause from an audience who thought it was all part of the act, the 63-year-old Welsh comedy legend died as he had lived, making people laugh. This has been our list of the eight shocking deaths caught on live television. For more content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.